Hi guys and welcome, Nembon here. In this video I'll show you how you can easily send a message wirelessly from anywhere around the world. So I have been hearing complaints here and there that there is not that many options in the game for sending signals wirelessly over long distances, but there has been already in the game mechanics that allow us to do that. And the obvious address to start would be to use a daylight sensor. What allows wireless communication is the fact that daylight sensor detects daytime and players have ability to manipulate said time. When a player sleeps, this changes the time anywhere in the world to a fixed value and clears all the weather effects so all daylight sensors anywhere in the world, providing they are loaded, will output the same signal of 7. Since normally the output of the daylight sensors changes gradually, if we detect an immediate change from a lower signal, so from 0 to 4, we could encode up to 5 separate messages this way. So here's the implementation of this concept. Unfortunately the bandwidth is not that great. We have to wait for the full night to send a signal on channel 0, and we have only two opportunities during the day cycle to use other channels. But hey, if you are really really far away from home and you find you need to press a button to turn on or off something, like a mob switch, connecting it to this device can save you a lot on travel. In order to use this device we need to either place it in spawn chunks or in any loaded area in the overworld, but it doesn't need to be entity processing. If you don't know where is your spawn chunks, you have probably built your base where you have initially spawned in the world so the spawn chunks are in your base. Otherwise you can just break your bed, kill yourself and you will be ready to start building this contraption. First we locate a flat area and you can start by placing a daylight sensor raised by one block. And then build out up to five blocks, make a turn put one block up like so and then turn back for three more blocks and then cover it all with redstone dust. And then we need a comparator here, another here on subtract and I place a container here. I used a dropper where I placed five and a half stacks of items and then place uh, five redstone torches on the sides of these blocks here. And this way we have made our redstone strength decoder that works with signals from zero to four. Then we need 5 repeaters on full delay going from those torches and dig out the trench and put slime blocks above it. What else you can do is to grab the master signal as well that will detect all stages of player sleeping and then cover it with slime blocks. And then we need repeaters to pass the signals along, one for each channel. To break the signal from the night decoder we need a repeater from this block, this dust here will be off exactly when player exits the bed and lead it around to the sticky piston here that will break the connection between these repeaters. And believe it or not, this is all completed, no black magic, just pure legit redstone. I have a few notes about it. First, does the weather changes or switching back to clear by accident via weather changes if it happens around dawn, will it trigger the device and the answer is no. The weather changes adjust time as detected by the daylight sensors gradually. What may send false signals is when the sensor gets unloaded sometimes during the night or when the overworld gets in the dormant state when nobody's in it and when you load the world again at dawn. But this can be avoided if your single player world or server for example have some sort of a stacked iron farm or some chunk loading setup or anything else that may require you to refresh the overworld by sending periodically an item through a portal. So I wouldn't connect it to any form of a mass destruction machine, but other than that, if you have a few control buttons activating some central contraptions in your world and you have a bed with you, you can do it remotely with this device. So that's it guys for today, uh, maybe it's not the most complex of all the contraptions, but with some restrictions does the job, as I just explained, allowing to send up to 5 independent signals remotely to any loaded area in the world, like spawn, and does the job reliably, so I thought I'll just share it with you. So. If you learned something new or simply enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, share with others and comment in the comment section below and see you in the next one. Bye bye!